Hey, ma'am. Yes. Uh, can we get a drink? Sure. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a whiskey sour? A whiskey sour? Whiskey sour neat, no Two. ice. Okay. All right, whiskey sour is an easy drink. Yeah. Two ingredients, yep. correct? Let's see what she's doing here. Okay, so there's whiskey and sour. You see one straight up there, Phil, without ice? Nope. Now, Let's shouldn't see. the sour be shaken every time? Yeah, you have citrus in there. You need to shake that. You need to bind the ingredients together. <laughs> He's just straining it out. And add more sour. Good. Oh! That way you can't taste the whiskey whatsoever. So now I had to go back and do it. Oopsie. There we go. When somebody asks for no ice, it doesn't mean fill it up with more mix. It just means they don't want any ice in it. Right. They understand that the drink won't necessarily fill the glass. Sure. Oh, man. Are you have whiskey in yours? Look on kind of his face. face. <laughs> we'll get this, yes. In that drink, it had something black in it. Look. Oh, OK. There's just something floating in there. They need to figure out what what is floating in there and where it's coming from. She said there was something floating in her Sprite. Uh, that's fine. They're just going to make another one and just pretend that it didn't happen? Ugh. What the hell is that? Ooh, I don't know what that is. What are they yelling about? So there's about? two drinks to something floating. Now, one was a soft drink from the gun. Yeah. This is not from the gun at all. No. If something's in a soda and his drink, it's probably coming from where they scoop the ice from. So it would contaminate everything. Let's go in and find it. Who's had a black speck in their drink? Anybody have a black speck in your drink? Has anybody said that to you tonight? That there's something in my drink? Yes. Has it happened other times? With people with stuff in their drinks, yes. And what did you do about it, Liz? I just got ice and I didn't see anything. If you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, then there's some bacteria or bugs or something in this place. I want to find out what the hell it is, Phil. Where do you get your ice from is my question. Ice machine back here. Okay, let's go, go take a look at that, John. This is where the ice is made, is in this little block right here. Holy Oh! Oh, oh my god! Ugh. Oh! Look Never this. clean the ice machine. You see all that water? Ugh. That it's all going down inside of there. If ice is being made right there, John, this is where it lands right here. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. You think your customers, if absolutely. they knew about this, absolutely would they want to be drinking I don't anything want to, I don't want to drink out of that. Absolutely not. This is what your guests are drinking right now. Every single time that they're in here, they're drinking this. Come with me. This is what's inside the ice machine. Look at it. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I'm oh done. God. Here you go, Liz. This is for you. It's gross. Get all the ice out and clean it. Kim, you manage her because she obviously can't manage herself. This place is a hole. So I'm closing your freaking bar. No more tabs. No more smoking behind the bar. No more disrespecting her father's legacy. That is over. And when you do your job, I'll come back and save your ass. The cakewalk is over. Wow, what kind of bar is this? Yeah, they serve beer and wine, and they have snacks. Oh, here. Oh, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How about Good. yourself? I like a, a light beer. There you go. What is that? It has a weird aftertaste. I didn't like the beer. It was warm, sour, or it was skunk. It was pretty bad. I just ordered a light beer. It has like a, a bitter aftertaste. You sending it back? I'll just go to a regular light beer. Yeah. Got it. Here you go, man. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Sorry I didn't like it. Oh, no worries. Yeah. Item void, customer, did not like, yeah, yeah. idiot. Wow, I wouldn't think that was an owner, man. Yeah, I'm going to order. If she acknowledges me. I would think they may have more than one bartender. Yeah, they're not sorry, yeah.
Hello, can I order the food, please? Yes, absolutely. Let me have the Philly cheesesteak and pretzel bites. I got you. OK. Hey, Rachel. Yes, sir. Explain to me why we have an order for items that don't exist on the menu anymore. I was not informed that it did not exist on the menu. Really? Take a look at the menu, the printed menu, and tell me what the is on there. Who does this guy think he is talking to people like that, man? We are out of pretzel bites and Philly cheesesteak. OK. That's what I wanted. Poor Johnny. Do you have uh, onion rings? I do have onion rings. Chicken tenders? We have chicken tenders. You guys, okay, I'll have that. All right. All right. Here we go. Spit it out. <laughs> oh, God. That's a great sign when uh, somebody spits out your food. We won't be eating tonight. I ordered two items. They didn't have them. And the food that I did order wasn't done. It wasn't good at all. They can't get the simplest of things, a beer and chicken right, for Christ's sakes. Uh, what? The guy blowing fire in the parking lot? What the hell is this place? Is she naked? Um. Hey, hey there, buddy. My name's Old Man Crunchy. Sometimes a dude could be right. That's good stuff, man. This naked girl get painted in the middle of the bar. I didn't know it was that kind of party. Me neither. First time I've seen it. Never been to a bar like this before in my life. Woo! <laughs> What do you think of the bar? It's dirty, it's dusty, there is no energy, and that is one thing that, that's a recurring theme here. Look at that fan. Oh! oh. When was the last time that was dusty? You look at those fan blades, yeah. and it'll tell you the cleanliness of the whole darn place. Look at that disgust. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Well, do you have like any house specialty drinks? Each bartender has their own kind of drink that they specialize in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm already making shots. I'll drink for you. So that's allowed. Whoa. I shook it, it's the ice. Kitchen's open tonight? Yeah. So we'll have an order of sliders. If they want something, then you just put it in, and Justin will have to make it. The whole thing? Sweet. I'm really excited about this right now. Oh. I have to do my job now, sorry. I'm not a cook. <laughs> Hell. So let's take a look in the kitchen here. Now, there's no grill on. There's no fryer on. I'm not even sure they have product. It doesn't seem like this kitchen's even open. There's nothing in there. There is nothing in this kitchen. I do not want to talk to anybody at all, so don't come back here. OK. Paige just took an order from her own closed kitchen. If there's anybody in the room who would know that the kitchen wasn't open, it would be the manager. Yes. Turning on a fryer is not like a 30-second thing. You need that oil. You're talking two and a half gallons of oil in 20, 30 minutes to heat up. So these sliders that are five minutes into your timer are going to be a half, ooh. The fryer baskets have either rust or buildup of food that has turned into mold that has dried out. There's no action going on. They're ignoring the kitchen. Ah, oh, man. Wow. Hmm. Oh my God, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this at all. Like, I'm I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Or so one cook. He went in the kitchen and said, we don't have any of this. You. I'm not going to do that, and it shouldn't be my responsibility. Justin walked. Huh? Amber had asked to help out in the kitchen. And didn't do as he was directed. OK, so here's the good news. Chris moved. He can't even stand up without leaning on something. That's pretty bad right there. Just wondering, what what happened in the kitchen? We do not have sliders at the moment. Chicken fingers, you down with that? Yeah, sure, can we, can we? All right, so, like, why don't you help cook something? Like, put some liners, just help me, instead of standing, like, help. Oil should never bubble like that. That's all dirt and, and humidity. See the steam coming up? That's the moisture of the chicken being cooked at the wrong temperature. I feel bad for her, don't you? Think of this employee trying to do that doesn't know what she's doing. You couldn't get me to eat something fried in that fryer. That chicken's already out of fryer. From a frozen product in an under temperature fryer, there's no way that that chicken is ready. This is bad. We can't let anybody eat that. Would you go in and just check the safety on this for I me? I got you, buddy. 
What's going on? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Ryan. I'm one of John's experts. Chris, nice to meet you, Chris. You're gonna serve this, are you? It's a cold look, look, because of the fryer temperature. See how they're greasy? Don't serve it, don't serve it. I'm not gonna let you serve this. Here, I'm not gonna let you serve this. This should have oil in it, this should be clean. In fact, you know, let's do this. If you'll eat this, then we'll serve it. Yeah? Oh, you're gonna piss me off. If you can serve this food, this is what you're taking, my friend, and putting in food. This right here. You can't walk in this kitchen and clean this kitchen, but you have no problem serving this type of food to customers out there. Go ahead, eat it. Eat it. You won't eat it. You back here and have your lady do this when you're sitting in the bar getting drunk. That's a, that's a big man right there. This is hard to watch, John. This fryer grease is the same grease that's in your hair. This is disgusting food that you're serving to your customers. John, this is a joke, a joke. Oh, uh, here we go. John Taffer. Chris. What's your name? Amber. Amber? Why are you upset? Come over here. I'm OK. Is this what you want to do to her? No, uh, of course not. Why did you stand here I like this? I asked you to come back and help me. And you didn't help her at all. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. Is that the way you treat somebody you love? No. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. You have a uh, drink menu? We don't have the cocktail menus anymore, but we do have the star <laughs> shot. That's a specialty? Yeah, that's right, actually well, my specialty. Let's go with it. Interesting name for a cocktail. I haven't seen a cocktail menu. It seems these girls make up a drink, give it a funny name like star and throw it on a board. What they need to do is have a menu where the guests can see the description. They can see what they're getting themselves into. And there's more than one drink to pick. Did you guys want to order any food? What are you guys known for? Our Philly cheesesteaks are really good. And those are actually $5 tonight. Yeah, I'm going to do the Philly. OK. And let me do the, the chicken sandwich fried. Oh, sweet. Like, really sweet. Like a jolly basic. Yeah, that's not very good. So that's Bob. He's your cook. Look at the color of that towel. Oh my God. It's gray. There's a pile to the right. Oh, let me go get another dirty towel for my dirty towel stack. You see that? <laughs> oh, I don't have one. I have a hundred of them. This is disgusting. Okay, that looks like a piece of steak. Is it? Is that what that is? That I don't know what that is. Oh my God, it looks yeah. like a brain. It looks like a brain. You know, it does. I'm, you guys know what that is? What is that? That's frozen Philly meat that he's beating the shit out of. To thaw it on the grill. So he sliced it from something. It's still raw. His griddle is not hot enough, by the way. Basically, you're just steaming steam. It's gray. It's not, it's not browning. No, you want Maillard. Maillard is the caramelization that comes yep. from the meats, right? He didn't clean the meat. He didn't take the sinew off the outside. And he just, there's, that guy doesn't give a shit. That's a big old model of I don't care what I'm doing. Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's gotta be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I... Everybody looks at it like, how am I gonna eat this? You might need to just like chop it in half. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's. You're losing your ass on that chicken sandwich. I know yep. that needs to be a twenty-five dollar sandwich. Dude, I can't. I can't even get into this thing. You can't even cut it. She's holding it for him. It's taking two of them, and they still can't cut the damn sandwich. I've never seen this in my life. Doesn't look that great. The chicken sandwich came out super large, almost unmanageable. It just doesn't translate well for good bar food. So I immediately sent it back. Oh, oh look at that. This is really greasy. Or that's like super, super greasy. Okay. Um, they said this is really greasy and gross. So I don't know if you want to talk to them about it. I'm going to take this. going to talk to them? I don't know. No way I'm not getting sick on that. How's it going? Don't be a dick. We just sent some food back to the kitchen. The chicken sandwich not really cooked all the way through. The cheesesteak, super greasy. Don't be a dick. What do you want? Do you want a refund on it? Or? Yeah, that would, be, um, that would be great, yeah. All right, can you just refund them on that, Susan? Wow, not even an I'm sorry. Bob? Yes? Uh, they sent this back. They said that it's too greasy. <laughs> OK. So Bob put out a Philly steak. Between the grease from the meat and the oil from the vegetables, 
That's a lot of oil. You go on a sandwich that size. Is that the way you always cook them? Yeah. <laughs> Melanie, you guys are failing not because of the weather, not because of a hurricane. You guys are failing because of things like that. I think it's just hard to have things pointed out to you that you um, didn't see coming. I'm just very tired and very emotional right now. Look at this. This is just dripping down, John. That's a stopper. Yeah, is this is what's blocking the grease? These come out with one hand and a towel, and they pop in a dishwasher and just done real quick. This gets in people's food. At the same time, when I turned around to grab a towel, I saw you, chef, using towels. I will bet my life, my house, everything that these are not clean. They've been washed. No, bull Sorry. They take feel, the smell smell this. Feel this. I'm just saying. I know, but smell feel it. it. Feel it. Melanie, is there any way that that is clean if it smells that way? <laughs> How's that cheesesteak? No Philly cheesesteak. Okay. There's no Philly cheesesteak? Dang it. OK, we'll do the nacho fries and turkey melt. I'm going to give you guys this. This is your number that he's going to call. Where do I, do I get up there? You're going to go right there to that counter. Okay. When he serves it, he's going to yell for that number, and okay. you're going to go pick okay. up your food right there. Can you like ring a bell? Rather than like screaming out across the bar. What's that sound? Yeah. Fries in the fryer. Those are the fries in the fryer. Yeah. Well, I just see all that bubbling up, and I'm just thinking somebody's gonna eat that. You see smoke like that coming out of the oil. That's because of all the debris in the oil, correct? Yes. It'll get to the point where it can just bubble right over. Look at the bottom! Oh, oh my god. Well, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's the worst we've ever seen, Mike. Yeah. Luckily, he was standing right there. I mean, that's Look a serious this. fire hazard. How gross is this? He has no gloves on. He's been touching everything in that disgusting kitchen. Now you're touching someone's cold cuts? Yeah. And there's our owner, <laughs> who has no idea that any of this is happening. Well, he looks like a miserable owner. He does. What is this? processed cheese. OK, so he's taking the cheese. He's added some water to it. Very special recipe going on here. Look at it. It's all lumpy. You're using crap, and then you're watering it down, and you're putting it on more crap and more crap, and then you're sending it out. Nacho fries. The nacho fries, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I want to see if they're actually going to eat this the way this looks. Yo. <laughs> That's not real cheese. I mean, honestly, this looks like a joke. When it came out on that styrofoam plate with that gross, fake nacho cheese, was... that was greasier than my face back in middle school. <laughs> like, this thing, it was so wild. So there's our owner. Have you seen him do anything tonight other than sit there? So he sat at the end of the bar and just had a drink and didn't do All right, we're going in. Those have to taste awful. The cheese kind of tastes like water. And if I didn't ask them to come into this bar, they'd leave right now, wouldn't they? Absolutely. It's a little weird. There's like a bitter aftertaste. Oh, my god. I can't even look at this. I can't watch this anymore. Somebody's going to get sick. Stop them. Like, I can taste the freezer. Yeah. Really? It's a little funky, man. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? I lot. saw the look on your faces. I got, I got yeah. We love good, lousy food. Dude, we took one bite and we it's couldn't terrible. even get it. No, we right. I don't know what it is, man. It, it's like it has a bitter aftertaste. That's not cheese. Nadia. Oh, yes, sir. I'd like you to meet American authors. Hi. Hi. How are Hi, you? guys. How are you? Let me just be honest. Give me a thumbs up or down. Was this food edible or not? No. Wow. We're well, talking about the food, dude. It Shit. was shitty food. He's going to grill my ass so hard, dude. I want you all to come with me for a minute. Let's go in the kitchen. I want you guys to see this. Here you come. Oh, my Do I have to come? Lewis. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Come on in. First of all, look at that fry. What you're about to see will blow you away. Here we go. Look at this, guys. You ever see oil smoke like that? You know why it's doing that? Because it is so contaminated with bacteria and filth do you understand how dirty that is? Yeah, yeah. You leave at night and don't clean it. You let him leave at night and don't clean it. I personally have spoken to Lewis about cleaning the kitchen numerous times. And I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor. The floor was like that all the really? way Really? What about that? I did not finish. 
So that's like changing a baby's diaper, but not between the cheeks of his ass, because you don't see it? <laughs> Will you eat that food? No, I don't want to eat that food. I so don't if you won't eat it, how do you give it to them? My stomach hurts. I feel like I can't believe I just ate this nonsense. But where's the owner? Come on, let's make it a freaking party. What is that? That's a really disgusting oil. Was that disgusting last week? I don't know that. The answer is yes. Yeah. Was that disgusting two weeks ago? Yeah. Yes. How about three weeks ago? Was it disgusting then? Yeah, it was pretty bad. And look at this. How do you stand here and live with that? Three weeks ago, it wasn't replaced. Why? I've had no money lately. It's been so tight, and that's the only answer that I personally have as a manager. So you don't have the money to do that. Nadia, John. you're full of Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.